coming to you from Seattle tonight where the roof at Safeco Field has been closed for comfort. We start the road trip with the first of four between the American League's Houston Astros and the Seattle Mariners. The Strohs have rattled off 16 straight wins. Will they make it 17? Find out next. Into the box is the veteran left-handed hitting Kenny Lofton as we're just about set for baseball. First offering on its way. And it's belted high and deep into right center. Looking up is Hediger. Gone! to lead off the inning. Now batting, Jose Altuve. Career numbers with Iwakuma. He's got a 415 batting average. He also has one home run. Swing and a long drive again. This one to deep center. Neuenheis is on the warning track as he hauls it in for a loud out number one. Now here's a look at the Astros starting lineup. What do you think they need to do to keep the winning streak a rolling, Dero? Yeah, Matty, this team poses a lot of problems offensively. This is a scary lineup because they can beat you in a variety of ways. Not only do they have power in the middle of the order, but a ton of speed that can put some serious pressure on the defense. Hard on the ground towards short. Segura fields it cleanly. Throw in time at first for out number two. Coming to the plate now, Jeff Bagwell is back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. First pitch on its way. Hard liner to center field. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. But another look here at the solo shot leading off the ball game. On to the bottom of the first at Safeco Field, and Houston's off to an early 1-0 lead. Dallas Keuchel will be on the mound for the Strohs. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Totally dominant in this last start. Turned in a complete game, one hitter. We'll see if he's got something similar in store in this one. And fellows, these Astros entering play here tonight. They come in unbeaten and playing well here in the early going. Matty, this is the best team in baseball right now. I, I mean, just a double-digit winning streak that, I mean, maybe happens to two or three teams a year you get this hot. This team is rocking in all facets right now, and they're a fun watch. With a moment here in Seattle, a look at the Mariners' starting lineup. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? Well, I love what Kyle Seeger brings to the table for this team. He's an imposing figure with a bat in his hands, always seems to turn in a good at bat, and he can do a lot of damage when he barrels up the ball. And he missed with it. It's one and two. Broke out the sweeping slider right there and just missed off the edge. If he would have caught the corner right there, I think he's got a backwards K. Gonzalez is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. Michael sets his sights. Here's the first pitch. Way in front of that fastball. Bases are empty here with two men out. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Gonzalez is after it. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the end. J.D. Davis, the next to bat. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Here's the first pitch to him. Rounded down the third baseline. And that's through for a hit. Throw won't get him. The fans didn't even get a chance to settle in their seats for the beginning of the inning. And he just blistered that ball down the line on the first pitch he saw. It stayed fair, and he's safely on second with the leadoff double. That's the way you lead off an inning. Oh, and there's a drive to deep left center. You can pretty much forget about this one. This is way out of here. Two-run home run here for Josh Reddick. Number 17 for him on the season. And the Astros have taken a 3 to nothing lead. Here's Marwin Gonzalez now. Driven down the left field line. Will it stay fair? It will. Just to the right of the chalk. A fair ball. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. 
So striding forward now, Tony Kemp, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. First delivery to him on the way. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Neuenheis has a play. He makes the catch, and tagging is the runner from second. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. Evan Gaddis now standing in. They've got two already home in the inning and a potential third waiting in the wings only 90 feet away. First pitch coming. Here it is. A weak chopper up the line, but it gets fouled. And, fellas, you take a look at these Seattle Mariners at the start of play here tonight. They've had it going the last 10 games. They're 7 and 3 over that stretch, including a win last time out. Hey, why not get on a hot streak, Matty? They played really well yesterday. Continue that trend. Stay on the attack. See if you can get on a hot streak. Maybe. And the run will cross on the sack fly and make it a 4 0 game. So it's back to the top of the order now. And standing in is the veteran center fielder, Kenny Lofton. Oh, and a hearty cut there to begin the at bat. It's nothing in one. This guy's one of the best bunters in the league, but with two outs, I'm not sure that's a really good play right now. He might be forced to go ahead and swing the bat and try to get an extra base hit here with two outs. Oh, and this kicks right off of him. No mistake what he was sitting on, looking for a dead red piece of cheese middle of the plate, and he didn't miss it. Standing in now, Jose Altuve. Strike taken to throw. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. Three runs already home here. Runners on his way to third. Pitch inside the throw. Not in time as he just does get in there ahead of the throw. You know, I was pretty surprised to see him on the move to third because it didn't seem like he had that much of a lead. But he made it work out. That was really impressive. One one hard hit toward the hole and that's through into left field for a base hit. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. Now a five nothing lead. Ready now Carlos Correa trying to keep things going now with the runner at first following the RBI single comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch pitch inside the throw it is well behind the play. That's an easy stolen base. And now the runner's trying for third. Pitch outside the throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. Now the 2-0. Here's a swing and a ground ball for Seeger down at third. Throw on to first will finally retire him as the inning will draw to a close. Into the box, Mike Sonino. And his guys have quite a hill to climb. Down five zip here in the early going. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Start of that swing a bit too early. Man, when you're struggling at the plate, that pitcher smells blood in the water. He's coming right after you, trying to end it quick. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Time for a look at the Houston Astros on D. In the outfield, Josh Reddick, a huge wrestling fan. But what we need to lock in on is the fact that he's got one of the best arms in baseball. Loves throwing guys out at the dish. We'll see if he gets the opportunity today. And that misses inside 1 0. Head to head pass with Dallas Keichel. He has nine base hits in 39 at bats. He's taken him deep once. One out, nobody on. Now the 1-1 one, one to Cano. Heading out towards shallow right. Reddick has a read on it. Two gone. Stepping in now is Mitch Hanniger. He was not much of a factor at the plate during yesterday's win as he took an 0 for 4 line. Heichel gets the sign. Here he comes 0-1. Got a big pass at a slider that gets past him. 
you know, he's had a very economical start out there. Got through the first inning on just nine pitches, and he's got a chance to keep it in single digits again here in the second. Swing and a miss for strike three. Pulled the string on him that time, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Mariners. They can't chip in. Digging in to try it again, Jeff Bagwell, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. they got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs, too. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Well, every pitcher gets to start the inning with a fresh slate, and he's out trying to put that last inning behind him. But he's got to be shaking his head right here. A leadoff double on the first pitch, and he's back in trouble again. Things oh, and he's into third safely with the stolen base. Now the 1 0. Drilled on the ground is short. And a good effort on the dive that time, but this will get by him for a base hit. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Josh Reddick. He hit a two run jack in his first at bat. Pitcher went to the well one too many times. Back to back fastballs. Hitter was able to keep his hands through, deliver a nice line drive. He is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. Well, some may say that's a questionable steal with such a big lead, but to me, it's still too early to worry about disrespecting the other team. I've seen there's a swing and a ball hit in the air and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one, without a doubt, is gone. That's one of those pitches you wish you could take back as soon as it leaves your hand. But guess what? There are no delete or rewind buttons in baseball. That's a mistake, and it was a good job by his opponent to make him pay for it. Here comes the Seattle skipper on his way to the mound, and a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. Juan Nicasio is going to come on to pitch here, and in just the third inning, you have to. think he'll be asked to eat some innings into the box now Marwin Gonzalez line drive snagged on a short hop and there's one down now now batting into the box now Tony Kemp flied out in his first at bat so making an 0 for 1 so far he's ready here's the first offering pitches away but it's swung on and grounded to second Throw on to first, two gone. Up next for the Astros, catcher Evan Gaddis. Now with the plate, Evan Gaddis earned himself an RBI with a sack fly his last time at the plate. First offering on its way. Now a swing and a fly ball. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And it'll fade just at the end and winds up a long foul ball. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Looking up is Hediger. Gone! You know, as a pitcher, there's nothing worse than 
getting taken deep, but it's something every pitcher has to deal with. Even the best pitchers give up home runs. You just have to refocus. A swing and a blast to center field. No doubt about this one. Back to back home runs as that one's way out of here. Fans are getting plenty of souvenirs today. That's the fifth ball we've seen clear the fence by just this one lineup alone. Yeah, Dan, this doesn't make sense. It's absolutely freezing outside. The last place you want to be is in a batter's box, and this offensive team is driving balls at it. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. So they really tee off here for five. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger. Seven, eight, and nine to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. One and one the count. Hits this one hard the other way. And the throw on the first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. Swing and a liner. That's a hit, the first of the game for the Mariners. Dan, how hard is it to massage your way through such a deep lineup? I mean, even the eight and nine hole hitters are solid big league players. You know, Mark, these days you're not seeing a lot of defensive specialists in the infield or outfield. If you're in that starting lineup these days, there's a pretty good job you could swing the bat. Ready with the one and one. One ball and two strikes to count. Healy leads off first with one away. A little low, it's two and two. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Now at the plate, Gene Segura, 0 for 1 here in the early going. And this is taken outside for ball one. Two out with the man at first. And this one's too far inside, ball two. Hit out towards second. Fielded cleanly, and an underhanded throw is in time for out number three. Leading out for the Astros. Drug stop. Here's Carlos the first pitch to him. Correa. Heading out towards shallow right. Waiting on it is Henniger, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now Final line inning. there for the Mariners starting pitcher. Not the night he or his club were hoping for. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Neuenheis looking up, and this one is gone. A home run. Now batting, third baseman. J.D. Davis, the next to bat. As he'll send a ground ball down to third. On to first, and there were two down. Stepping in is Josh Reddick. Two home runs and two at bats so far, and looking to add to that here. The last at bat, Matty D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off speed pitches. Throw not in time, and he beats it out for his third hit tonight. Boy, when things are good, things are going really good. How about a swinging bunt infield single right there for his third knock of the game, Dero? Yeah, he has to be feeling frisky right now. He's had two great at bats, and then this one, he's 100% on fire. Getting an infield single for his third knock of the game, that's awesome. Throw over to the bag, runner back safely. Here's Marwin Gonzalez now as he'll go after the first pitch and line one into right field for a base hit. Hey pitchers you better start taking notice of this guy. He better be circled on that lineup part because he's on fire. That's his second hit of the ball game right there and I don't see him stopping. Stepping in now the speedy Tony Kemp. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. Out of here, into the visitor's bullpen. 
I'll tell you, guys are scrambling in the dugout to get to the plate now, and I can't blame them. Seem like everyone's getting in on the action. That's the seventh home run of the game. When it rains, it pours, I guess. Evan Gaddis now standing in as he rips it on the ground to second. Go in time, and they stop the bleeding as the side is retired. Four runs in the inning, and they come on the strength of the two big flies. Leading off the Mariners. Now pitch on the way. Left fielder. Swung on and missed that time. It's 0 and 1. This guy's cruising along, pitching well as we enter the middle innings of this one. Less than 60% of his first pitches have been for strikes. If he could clean that up a little bit, he could really roll into the later innings in this one. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Here's the one and two delivery. And he fouls this one off. Popped high in the air. Keichel is under it. Makes the play one away. In now the Mariners DH. Nelson Cruz comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for Revol. One and two now. He had some really good late action on that slider right there. It's hard to do anything with that pitch unless you're sitting on it and catch it out front before it breaks all the way in. And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. Coming to the plate now, Mike Zanino. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. No balls and one strike. No runs, just one hit, and no errors in the game for the Mariners to this point. Now a swing and a ball grounded to second. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. Some important two-out success as Robinson Cano will bat next. Robinson Cano. Here comes the second baseman, Robinson Cano, as he swings and misses at a first-pitch fastball, 0-1. He's 0-for-1 thus far. And this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. And a great pitch there in the inning. Is Digging in and looking for more, Kenny Lofton. It was a solo shot for him in his last at bat. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hit in the air out to left field. Gamble has it, and it's a quick out number one. Now batting. Designated hitter. Striding forward now is the D.H. Jose Altuve has got a hit in three at bats to this point. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. And it's gone as they add still another. Here's Carlos Correa now. As he swings and grounds it toward the hole. And that gets through, so he'll have his first base hit and make him one for four in the game now. And as you see right there, that'll push his hitting streak yet another game as he has been on fire this month. You know what, Matty? I don't see it ending anytime soon. I mean, we got to take a look at the upcoming matchups, but this guy is absolutely locked in the plate, and I don't think anybody gets him to lose his toehold right now. Pitch outside the throw, and it skips in as he steals the bag easily. Correa leads off second with one gun in the inning. Runner breaks for third. Pitch is high. The throw is going to be far too late. That's a stolen base. Oh, this kind of goes against those unwritten rules of baseball. They're leading big, so there's really no reason for them to steal third right there. And I'm not sure that was taken too kindly in the opposing dugout. Hit hard on the ground to second. And that is through into center field, the base hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is into score. A hey, good job of hitting right there, D. Well, runner on third, less than two outs. All you want to do is put the ball in play. He did just that. Hits a grounder right up the middle that drives in a run. Yeah, it took it right back at where it came from. All you're trying to do is avoid the corners. Hit something. And they got him.
stepping in now. J.D. Davis. He swings and grounds it to short. And a diving effort there, but it'll come up empty. It's a base hit. Hey, this guy's obviously seeing the ball right now. That's another hard hit single. Three for four right there. He's looking super solid. Into the box, Josh Reddick. Hard liner to center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away. And that Stepping in now is Mitch Hanniger. He leads off in the bottom of the fifth as they look Leading to break through on the scoreboard for the first time in this one. Yeah, baseball is a game of adjustments, and it's time they start making some. They don't need to change their entire approach necessarily, but now is maybe when they start thinking about ways to get the guy in the mound out of his rhythm a bit. Behind 0-2 now. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That was a nasty looking slider that time. Yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. A classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. Ball one. No runs, two hits, and no errors in the game for the Mariners to this point. Down the first baseline. Bagwell has it, and he'll step on first himself for the out. Up next for Seattle. Ready for another chance. Ryan Healy, a base hit in his first trip. There's a good fastball on the outside corner as he'll take a look at strike one. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Mariners are down. Tony Zitch gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. Number 55, Tony First pitch of the at-bat. Hard hit ball to second. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Now batter, second baseman, Tony Tim. Striding in for Houston, Tony Kemp. He had that big three-run homer in his last appearance. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. And this is taken for the out. Now batting, Gaffer. Evan Gaffer. So stepping in, Evan Gaddis. He homered back in the third inning in this one. First pitch on its way. Hit in the air out to straightaway left. Moving under it, Gamble. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Astros go down one, two, three, as it remains a 16 to nothing ball game. Now in the box, Kirk Neuenheis. He'll start the leading off for the Mariners. Billy Center Wagner Hilton. enters to do the Earth. pitching in the bottom Neuenheim. of the sixth. Yeah, Takes a fastball on the inside now corner. For the Number 13, Billy Wagner. In there, and it's 0 2 now. Three. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Didn't mess around much in that at bat, Dan. No, that was pretty impressive, man. I really like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball. Right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go grab some bench. Gene Segura standing in. And it's fouled away. 0 for 2 for him to this point. 
awfully oh, close with the slider there, but it's one and one. Well, that's a great take there right there on that slider down and in. That's one of the toughest pitches to lay off of as a hitter. That hard breaking ball coming down and in at the back foot. A tough take on a good pitch. And there's out number two. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Belt high and right down the middle for a strike. Wagner is pretty much a manager's dream coming out of the bullpen. High strikeouts, doesn't walk a lot of batters, usually a recipe for a lot of success. Oh, that's one of the keys. I think if you were to build the perfect relief pitcher, you'd want a guy that throws a lot of strikes, that minimizes the base on balls, and nobody does it as good as this guy does. And the center fielder is under it to make the catch, and the inning is over. Kenny Lofton will stand in again as we flash you back to the early stages of this ball game. There were fans still finding their seats as he launched his second home run of the game as he was off to a fast start indeed. Swing line drive that's going to be trouble legs churning he's headed for second and he's not stopping he wants three the relay throw but he is in there with a triple it's rare to hit a triple but he's knocking on the door of history right now in addition to that three bagger which is the hardest one to get he already has a home run and a single so if he gets a double next time up he's going to have a cycle here's the first pitch to him slider and look out that's up in the danger zone. Wow, I love to watch a guy who's not afraid to move a hitter's feet. You work inside like that, all of a sudden guys aren't likely to dive out, out over the plate. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And the run is in to score from third. Great job of offensive execution there. Lead off triple and then the sack fly to bring home a run. Digging in now, Carlos Correa. Bases empty and one away following the sack fly. First offering on its way. Line towards center field. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. Absolutely jumped all over that fastball. And it might have been a home run if he had any elevation under it. But it was basically right at the outfielder. Standing in now, Jeff Bagwell, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's had a great game so far, and a triple would complete the cycle. On a line, that's a base hit. Boy, talk about having a day, Debro. He gets his fourth knock of the game, but mixed in with one of those four was a round trip or not a bad day. Yeah, you have five, maybe a handful of games that you can throw out four knocks throughout the course of the year. Add in a tater to go with it. He's smiling. His food's going to taste better tonight. Oh, and one the count. He's set. Here's the 0 1. A swing and a miss just out in front of that fastball. Popped him up. And Cano will make the catch to retire the side. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Get up and stretch now here in the great Northwest. Houston leads this one 17 to nothing. Here's Nelson Cruz now, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Here's the pitch. A fastball that he's way out in front of. A swing and a miss. Gotta love a reliever that comes in firing bullets, and his fastball is a good one. Ani pops it up, drifting just beyond the infield. Bagwell will stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. The catcher, number three, Mike Zunino. Zunino. 
ready once again Mike Zanino he was a strikeout victim his first trip and then collected a base hit his last time around. First pitch of the at bat takes a look at one catching the outside corner. That pitch is in triple digits. I think he had to take that one because I'm not even sure he saw it. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. At the plate Robinson Cano. He flew out his first time around and then was a strikeout victim most recently. No balls and a strike to count. As anticipated here's a ground ball now to the right side. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. One two three go the Mariners. They're in a wee bit of a hole down 17 to nothing. Right fielder John Reddick. Reddick waiting and now the pitch. And it's belted high and deep into right center. And he's going to have room to put this one away and that's the first out. Well there are blowouts and then there are blowouts. And this folks is a blowout as you get a look at our line score. It's not often that you see a road team come into this place and put a whooping on these guys like the one we're seeing here tonight. Here's Marwin Gonzalez now. Two hits in four attempts to this point. Here's the first pitch to him. He pulls this one into right. But he'll barely have to move out there and right as he hauls this one in for the second out. He got that one pretty good. It just didn't have the right launch angle to carry over the outfielder's head. Small difference where the ball hit the bat could have made all the difference. Stepping in now the speedy Tony Kemp. He offers at it and hits it in the air to left. Gamble moves over and that's the third out. Nothing doing here this half. Not too many more shots left home half of the eighth coming up. The Astros stepping in now is Mitch Hanniger. He'll lead things off against the same Lee reliever that finished off the last inning. Well you don't see in this day too many relievers going multiple innings but guys have to earn that trust from their managers. We'll see how he handles it here. Objective number one right here is finding a way to get on base. So I'm not surprised to see him taking on the first pitch there. A ball and two strikes to Mitch Hanniger. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out, a strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. Bases are empty, one man out. Fouled away. Soft liner to the right side, and this will be put away easily for the out. How about it? First baseman, Ryan Healy. Striding into the box, Ryan Healy. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. First pitch coming, here it is. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Reddick has a read on it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Mariners are down in order. They're in a wee bit of a hole, down 17. Back now in the beautiful Pacific Northwest as we're set for what's left of this one from Safeco Field. Mike Morin comes on to pitch now hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. He's set and the pitch. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. As we head toward a conclusion in this one I think it's fair to say that it's going to be a long time before you see a team perform like this again at the plate. Yeah, the ability of this lineup to hit that many home runs, I mean, strewn throughout the line, it screams to the modern day of baseball. The three true outcomes, these guys aren't worried about hitting singles. They're trying to stop traffic over that fence. d -Roy, I, I, it can't be better said. And I think the day and age right now for pitchers is you have to approach just about every pitch like it's a two-strike pitch. No get-me-over curveballs, no get-me-over changeups. 
Every pitch has to be thrown with a purpose. First offering on its way. Just got a piece up the line. That's a foul ball. One out, nobody on. Now a big swing, and this ball is rushed out to deep center field. And off the batter's eye for a home run. An impressive shot to dead center field. Now back. Into the box now, Jose Altuve, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ballgame. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. A little bouncer. Swing and a miss got him reaching. Zanino gathers it, and the throw to first is there to record the second out. Into the box now, Carlos Correa hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. First pitch on its way. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. hit hard on the ground is short. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. So the top of the ninth keeps a rolling as he comes through with two away. First baseman number five, Jeff Bagwell. So here's the cleanup hitter, Jeff Bagwell. He's looking for hit number five in this one right here. But the runner's back easily. He's set. Here it comes. Fly ball out toward left center field. Neuenheis will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Settling in now, Kirk Neuenheis starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, there's not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Davis is there and that's not the start to the bottom of the ninth this crowd was open for one away and this is just off the outside corner for a ball one and oh and a good heater as he just watches this baby a ball and a strike and this runs inside and that looked like it got him pretty good and that'll bring up Ben Gamble it was a fly out for him in his last trip Fastball 97 from Wagner 0 and 1 popped high in the air Wagner waits on it two down next will be the designated hitter Nelson Cruz He's hitless in three at bats to this point strike one to start the at bat. Step off the rubber and go to first. And the runner back in standing. And another snap throw to the bag. Keeping particularly close tabs on him. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed. And now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. Little hesitation right there by the batter. There's great execution by the pitcher down and away. But that looked like a late swing. Could have been sitting on something else. Last chance for the Mariners. Hey, I don't mind you throwing a fastball in this situation, but I think, if we're being honest with ourselves, that one caught a little bit too much of the plate. And he gets strike three called to end it here. And with that, this one is over. 18 to nothing, the final tonight. The Houston Astros.